Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. All right, so everybody's been wanting me to talk about this whole Joe Button and Sin Santana situation. So as you guys know, we posted on the gram the other day that, you know, rumor had it they had broken up. And so Joe Budden was doing like a live podcast with Rory and Mal. And during then he was talking about how he hadn't talked to Sin in a while. And, you know, basically he's not sure if they broken up. They just haven't spoken. Which to me is very odd being that you guys share a child together and the child is under the age of two. So the fact that y'all can go weeks without speaking, that makes no damn sense. You guys are supposedly engaged to be married and living in the same household. But anyways, y'all go ahead and listen to this snippet of what Joe had to say. Check this out and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. That was and telling me that I had broken up with somebody. Right? It's like, man, how can I fucking put on a good show tonight like this? <laughs> After reading an article about yourself? Yeah. So, I want to tell, and this is breaking news. So, I want to tell y'all, y'all, y'all are the first to hear. We didn't break up. There's been no break up. Now, words are important. So, what does that mean? What that means is that neither one of us said it's over. Now, with that being with that said, uh, we haven't spoken. <laughs> You're on the bridge. Spoke a little while. Speakers. I think her phone's been dead for a few weeks. I'm going to do that too. Uh, overtime at work. Yeah. Yeah. Plenty of reasons. I can say that. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Hey, reason why I'm for it to be alive. Yeah. It's mad as he is strong. Don't you have to, like, you know that the end part got free. You know how the end of the charger gets free? I hate when that happens. Yeah. Free. And you got to hold it in a certain way. Don't say free. Just say free. Don't worry about it. Don't say free in front of all these people. Yeah, yeah. Can you have a breakup without saying it? No, I'm asking a very serious question. Well, I'm asking for enlightenment from Tampa. Can you break up without actually breaking up? I'm like, I didn't take it no way when she moved all the shit out of the house. I'm like, all right, man. Damn, no bro, damn. Shit, man. Damn, 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 Alright, so you guys just heard that mush mouth bullshit that Joe had to say that made no sense whatsoever. So shortly after that, Sin Santana had her own mush mouth shit to say as well because she posted a tweet that really didn't make a lot of sense to me. But y'all go ahead and check this out. So then Sin takes to Instagram and she responds back to one of her followers. And her follower says, can you break up without saying it? So Sin responds and she says, actions speak louder than words. People have months broken up and don't even know it. But God reveals all truths. Okay, that was very choppy sin. I think what she's saying is basically um, she feels like they've already been broken up for months. But she really didn't have to say anything because God was going to reveal it to Joe eventually. That yes, she's moved on from that relationship emotionally, spiritually, etc. That's what I'm assuming that she was meaning to say but just didn't feel like typing, okay? But anyways, so shortly after all this mess came out... Um, a lot of people remember the spring break video by these random girls on YouTube. I don't know if they're YouTubers or they were just, you know, vlogging. And so they put up this 14-minute video of them enjoying their spring break in Miami, honey, having a good old funky time. Reminds me when I was 21, okay? They were having a good time. Her and her homegirls, they're all kicking it. And who happens to walk through their footage as they're filming? Well, none other than Joe Budden. But, but the woman with him is not Sin Santana, his fiance. It's some little pretty chocolate girl, honey. And she's a real model. Not an Instagram thought, but a real model, okay? I see a lot of y'all talking about she needs to eat a sandwich. No, bitch. That's how real models look, okay? They're tall, they're thin, and just beautiful, okay? Her name is Jasma Kendrick. And she's been modeling for years. And yeah. Her and Joe seemed pretty comfy. They even had the bodyguards behind them, you know, making sure nothing popped off. And so as the girls are recording this, they're like, wait, hold up. That's not Sin. Sin is, you know, thicky, thick, light skin, you know, Dominicana. Who's this tall, sexy chocolate thing? You know what I mean? That ain't Sin. And so 
a lot of people forgot about that video and then when all this breakup stuff happened that's when people were able to put two and two together that that's what caused the breakup is that once again you know joe was being joe button he's creeping off with jasmine kendrick y'all go ahead and check this video out and i'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary yeah, i'm used to spending every, every day with her on y'all on y'all listen 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 why is it cold out here that's worth to my kids i got you brush on y'all all right oh, we do all right so you guys just saw that video of joe you know what i'm saying stunting with a real model on his damn arm now what i find funny about this situation is if you guys remember a few months ago I did a video about Sin Santana, um, an old video of her on um, Angela Yee's lip service, ended up going viral. And in that video, Sin was talking about how she doesn't really date Puerto Rican guys, they're too sensitive, and that she likes dating, you know, black guys because they treat Spanish women a lot better. And so I talked about that. Y'all go ahead, let me go ahead and refresh y'all's memory. Y'all go ahead and check this out. is that basically an old episode of lip service went viral today and on that old episode you can hear sin santana saying that you know black men tell her that they prefer spanish women because basically spanish women don't have attitudes like black women and that they also cater to spanish women more as well i want you guys to go ahead and watch this clip and i'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary love them i just love no. that guys and spanish listen together. You and yeah. i y'all can yeah. keep the puerto rican man i'm good oh, yeah i'm good on a puerto rican man so what does that know. mean, Sin? I do black guys all day. So oh, shit. I did the Spanish, Spanish too. I did yeah, the Spanish thing. Does it work guys. out for me? I'm good. Why? Mm. What's wrong with guys that are Hispanic? I don't know. I think they're too emotional. You don't think I black guys are They're very emotional? overly possessive, me. They huh? are. The Puerto Ricans? Oh, my God. Oh, my. I got black so guys can be possessive, picture, too. Like, yeah, but they... They're controlling. They no, Hispanic men are very possessive, though. Ridiculous. Hispanic men are way more possessive. And black guys cater to us Spanish girls, especially. Like, they... You know what? Let me not even get into uh -oh, that. Oh, she's gonna get herself in trouble now. <laughs> the black girls, yeah. They're gonna be nah, like, I, I didn't mean it like that, but you know, black girls gonna take it personal. They'll be like, uh, uh. <laughs> nah, but um, I'm good. I, I don't. Like I'm done with the poppies. Too. But for me, even my Latino men, I like them a little bit with with some color, you know, because I like the way the dark skinned dick looks. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but you know all right, so you guys just heard what Sin Santana had to say a long time ago, and now she's eating those words. Oh, the irony, the irony. You allowed, you know, certain black guys who have issues with black women to basically gash your head up, make you feel like you were better than the average black woman, um, and make you feel like, you know, you were worth better treatment because, you know what I'm saying, of your ethnicity, and now you're finding out that, no. You know what I'm saying? You can still get dogged out regardless if you look a certain way. You know what I'm saying? Oh, the irony, honey. You really found out that, you know, regardless if you look a certain way, no matter what your ethnicity is, you can still get treated like trash, okay? So it's very funny that she felt like, you know, black men treated Spanish women better only for her to be left as a single unwed mother, okay? So how, how's, how's that treating you, you know, Miss Spanish chick? So I just find that whole situation ironic. At the end of the day, a good man is a good man regardless of race, okay? If a man knows how to treat a woman then that's a good man okay it does not matter his ethnicity and it does not matter that woman's ethnicity either i know a lot of black women who are treated like queens by men of you know either black men or men of other races so it's not a whole thing where it's like oh because you're spanish you're automatically going to be treated better and put on a pedestal some black men do put you know latina and spanish women on a pedestal but those are men who are suffering from their own self-hate issues don't let them gas you up because at that point they're just using you you know what i'm saying and then when they find the next hot you know young latina they'll, they'll drop you like a damn bag of damn yellow rice <laughs> why'd i say yellow rice <laughs> they'll drop you like a damn bag of rice and beans bitch and move on to the next spicy latina okay so unfortunately for her she's eating her words you know do i want to see them break up no because they have that beautiful baby together and i'm all for you know families you know being together and raising their children i don't want to see them break up you know hopefully they'll be able to work this out but if not you know what i'm saying it is what it is. It doesn't affect me one way or another, okay? Now, as far as Jasma, okay? Jasma, you seem to be a beautiful girl, intelligent. Um, you have a legitimate modeling career, okay? People fuck with you. You don't have children. So I would say to her, be very careful. 
Don't let Joe Button knock you up and then you be his second baby mama, okay? You know, have your fun, but be very, very mindful. Don't fuck up your career and your body behind Joe Button, okay? That's all I'm saying, okay? Keep that body tight and walk them damn runways like the real model you damn are, okay? So I, I would just say, you know, have your little fun, but just, you know, be careful because you see how you treated this baby's mother. And that's one thing that women need to look at. You know, so many times women are so happy to be chosen. Like, yep, I got that man and I'm with him and I took your man. But if he was dogging out the woman before you or his baby's mother, eventually you're going to get that same treatment. So you always look at how a man treated, you know, these women in the past. Now, if he was a good man and he was the one who got dogged out, then yes, you know what I'm saying, go full force. But if he was always the common denominator and the dog in the situation, I would say tread very lightly, sis, okay? So don't get too gassed up that you took her baby daddy, honey, because, you know, I don't know if he's a prize because he done put a lot of women through a lot of shit, okay? You can ask to Harry and, you know, Esther Baxter and the whole line of women that he's been with, you know, K uh, what's her name, Kaylin Garcia. He done put a lot of women through a lot of damn shit. And now his baby mama sin has been added to that list regardless of her ethnicity, okay? All right, so I want to do an update. As of 20 minutes ago, Joe Budden is now speaking out about the rumors concerning him and Jasmine Kendrick. So basically, he took to social media to go in on the blogs. And this is what Joe Budden had to say. So now that the rumors are, you know, spreading and everybody's talking about this, he says, LOL, slow news day. That's Joe's response to every damn thing. Anytime it's about him, anytime it's something serious, he accuses the blogs of having a slow news day. Was it a slow news day when you and Sin Santana stopped following each other on Instagram? Was it a slow news day when she started, you know, writing all that mush mouth shit about y'all being broke up for a while and basically waiting for God to reveal it to you? So no, it's not a slow news day. Even if he's not with, you know, Jasma Kendrick, at the end of the day, there's something going on between him and Sin Santana. Now, hopefully this is not a storyline for damn love and hip-hop New York. Because I don't put nothing past them or Mona Scott. But I do think that there is something definitely going on. But, of course, Joe is going to accuse the blogs of just having a slow news day. Meanwhile, he does the same thing as the blogs, which is gossip about everybody else's fucking business. Um, but it's funny when he talks about everybody else's business, it's not a slow news day. It's Joe Button's opinion. Anyways, I stand by my damn video, okay? Let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation. Once again, concerning Sin Santana, you know, Miss Black Men Treat Me Better. Um, now going through her own trials and tribulations with her baby's father, um, Joe Button. And how do you guys feel about him getting caught walking and, you know, kind of chilling with Jasma Kendrick? when that's not his fiance he really shouldn't be walking through the streets of miami with anybody besides sin okay so let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment all right deuces